Hello and welcome back to the last nine holes of the 2022 Texas State Disc Golf Championship presented by Latitude 64. You are watching the Disc Golf Pro Tour on Jomez Pro with Nate Sexton, Jeremy Colling, and Paul Uliberry. And if you didn't watch the front nine, what are you doing here? Go back and watch that real quick to catch you up. But there's a spoiler alert. There's the scores. Calvin Heinberg hanging on to a one-shot advantage over Ricky Wysocki, but don't look now. Greg Barsby is coming up strong. James Conrad still sitting on fourth place. He's technically within striking distance, but it's going to have to be a special back nine. Pretty much clear of the rest of the field, though. Joel Freeman on third card could have something to say about it, but it's going to take a lot of work from both him and these guys. Hole 10, par 3, 426. Calvin did it again on hole 9. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I have to mm -hmm. say that before I preview this hole. Mm -hmm. OB behind it, downhill, couple little trees to miss. He likes to go this tight, wide route. Tight? Well, yeah, keeping... I see what you're saying. Oh, oh. catching... Italian Cypress, is that what those are? That's what you told me. All right. I'm going to stand by it. <clears throat> Outer edge. That's the first one we've seen clip one of those. But they're right there in the middle. This looks great. Good Annie. As long as he misses those. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely textbook. I just feel like that's a tougher shot to throw, but it makes the fairway way bigger. It really does. The that, flex th play? Yeah, the tight hyzer is the easier shot but the oh, but wow. the flex play i feel like makes the gap a bit wider and we went from not seeing one to half the card they're doing the job you could just go over them like this and oh, this needs to get... this looks beautiful oh yeah it's perfect oh wow how does that not go in almost I mean, over them has to be the play. It's You're definitely bringing some luck into play if you're playing in low. I don't understand that. Was that just barely short? Yes. Oh, my goodness. That was beautiful. That looked like it yeah. went through the basket. Yeah. Good effort. And Greg, is he going to get his fourth in the last five? He is. He is on fire. And he is going to be two back of the leader. Those coordinates in those glasses are doing work right now. <laughs> Ricky tapping after that ace run drive. I wouldn't Nothing. be surprised if he just flew away all of a sudden. <laughs> like, <laughs> those things can do everything. And look at this. That park job from Rick was... Something of beauty. Yes. 23, 23, 21, 18. Mm -hmm. Looking here at 11, par 3, 485. One tiny tree off the tee that you're going to want to go around or over. Big tree on the right. You'd like to see these guys just go with a flat screamer down the right side and then finish with a little hyzer late and try to skip past these trees. What kind of wind were you dealing with? I think we had a bit of tail, if anything. Today. It was a little tail. Okay, so that's helping. It's It wasn't blowing too hard at this point, but if anything, like Nate said, just barely this coming off the back of the shirt. Looking good. Yeah, that looks a lot like his drive in round two, if I recall correctly. He's putting together a pretty special round right now. He's applying pressure. Man, especially during this stretch. I mean, it's these are the holes you want to get those birdies because if you miss one, Ricky's not going to be missing many of them. He's just dialed in right next to Greg's drive. Got the width. Does it have the late stability? It looks like it is coming in nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Lawn darts for these guys right now. Mm. 
485 ain't nothing. That was a yeah. weird little air mount. Yeah, I thought that was parked. That's that why a, I said that because I thought that weird thing was stuff. going all the way. But you could even hear James mumbling, what was going on there? Like that It was, looked great. James right side once again. It's the second or third we've seen a miss on the right side from that range today. Little readjustment with his hand there. It looked like his grip was not mm. what he desired, but didn't matter. Knocked it right down. Hottest day of the tournament so far. Temperatures were in the mid 80s. Ricky just getting that over the rim. All that sand on the ground that gets on your disc, gets on your hand. Sometimes you have to wipe the hand off a little bit of that grime. No grime in Greg's game right now. He is putting together something special in this section. I mean, aside from uh, the bonus birdie that we saw from Calvin, I mean, no one's cleaned up that stretch of holes better. That we've seen so far so greg really putting together something nice right now hole 12 par 3 435 blind around the corner to the left the most popular play we've seen is that flex where people go with the forced anheuser on the overstable backhand as a right hander and just try to get it to swing back and skip before it finds that out of bounds road on the right you think lefties would try a backhand roller here? I mean, they certainly could. Yes. I can't even imagine if you don't have a huge forehand what you'd even do if uh, if you're a left-hander. If I had had more time to practice, I would have liked to rip a yeah, forehand roller. Sure. And Parsby just sneaking into circle two. That'll be about 58 feet away. Two, like. yeah, two inches away. I this will be. I love this. This is kind of towards the OB road, though. No, it's just fine. Just inside the bullseye. There, there is, you know, it's certainly inside the circle, the OB on that right side as we take another look at this one. Yeah. Just the command. Perfect. Drift it right, and then that overstability kicks in just in time. Perfect. Mm. Rick is tough to beat at Texas State's. Calvin is going to have to really put together. You know Rick's going to have something to say about it. He wants to win this tournament, maybe more than any other. Undefeated. Five tries out here. This going six effort. You want? Can I beat those? A little bit wider. No, Calvin beats that. And look at that. Matches God. Ricky's shot. Oh, that's incredible. Kind of not fair. Yeah, that's amazing. This Did, hole is so tough. Didn't know if it had enough turn just sneaking past those outer reaches of the trees. I love this par three. Oh, I, this, abso mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. This one. This does, does it? A, it does have enough. Oh my gosh. I mean, four drives inside circle two. Three of them inside circle one. That's unprecedented on this hole. I thought for sure that James's drive was too tight. Greg. <laughs> the hammer fist. That is huge. With his, the two guys leading the tournament are six feet from the basket. That's like, it's so obvious the chips are down wait for it throws it Hammer up in, fist. Yeah, into the heavens <laughs> that was incredible what a huge putt for greg that's he uh, throws it so high i like what you said in round two paul about how it's the most dramatic putt it is. there is i just love that and oh, he kind of and he kind of knew it was one. going to go in like that's what's crazy is he's so he has it so dialed that he can throw it, you know, like I said, into the heavens and just be like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm like, what? Everyone else is just hanging on for a yep. minute. He just throws it. 
Who right. would have thought the first star frame would be hole twelve of all holes? I wouldn't. I would have thought this would never get star framed ever. That's insane. Great stuff from our card. Bars be still bogey free and now just on an absolute tear. Hole thirteen, par four, five fifty two up the hill. I can't imagine Bars be slowing down. I mean, this is just right up his alley. You're going to hit a small gap. Get up to the top and then pitch a forehand around. He might not ever slow down, but Calvin or Ricky might not slow down either. And he needs a little bit of help from them at this point because if they're going to keep birding, and I mean, all this action that he's doing is for nothing. Well, we, I mean, we have six holes to play. Three are very easy and three are very hard. So it's the winner is going to be the one who can perform on those hard holes. And we are currently, our two leaders are tied at the score that Greg predicted would be the winning score. And I guarantee you that ain't going to be the winning score now. I mean, these guys, like you said, three birdie holes left. Yeah, and Rick just drove it way up top of the hill. So he's got a very simple shot left on this hole. Calvin off to the left side. That should be a pretty easy approach as well. And we're used to Calvin and, and Ricky doing this right here. We're used to that. But watching Barsby do it, that's, you know, why I'm getting a little bit excited is because he's playing a level above his level. Levels and levels above what he's used to playing. I mean, yeah. he's a great player, but right now he's on fire. These guys are not. Yeah. They're right. playing well to win the tournament, of course. But, I mean, it's just special. He just threw it 90 feet in the air and just cashed it. Hammer fist it. Yeah, it's not to say that Barsby hasn't played this well, well of course, in he's a lot a of champion. times. Yeah. But it's not uh it's not something we normally see. Right. And when we do get to see it, we're lucky enough to see it. I mean, it's just flashy and exciting. Yeah. And especially right here at his home tournament. I right. mean, it's just all the more to play for. Good looking touch there. And that's he just gonna be makes another it. bullseye <laughs> for our card. And who doesn't love a good underdog story? Not saying That's, that. Oh, I thought it was too wide for a second. I was totally wrong. Mm -hmm. I that, think it was it was inside gap, and I thought he was going outside. That darker grass below the hill really catches anything that starts moving down the hill. It really collects those discs nicely. But yeah, just to further the point, I mean, Greg is not an underdog, but he kind of is compared to the 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 big five as we've called him in the past. Oh no. Oh. Okay, big putt here for Ricky. Oh, yeah. Outright leader for the first time. What well, were we talking about it the other day wow. that uh, Barsby just sometimes shows up, and when he's playing well, it, he never stops. Like, he's just there, you know? The world's comes to mind. European Open comes to mind. Where he's just, one whole leader. A yes. couple of Masters Cups. He's won two Masters Cups. Really? No, I just mean w when he's played at that kind oh, of level. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Maybe still owns one of the coolest aces of all time. Yeah, If he you ever played De La Viega, hole four, getting a flick roller ace on that one. In the same round as Nate Doss also getting an ace and winning the national tour back there. What was that 2011? Something 2008, like that. 2009, maybe? Something like that. So long ago been doing it for a long long time folks here is the first of those three harder holes that i was teasing this one downhill blind and a thin line to the basket this needs to get left and it's doing it it's getting left that's very good man it's dialed in right now This is putter. He's going to need to get it on a little bit of an Anheuser. He does that. And this should be similar to where Greg landed. Beautiful. Yeah, this gap is not that easy to hit. James going more of the wide flip up hyzer. Is this too wide? It Ooh. is. But fortunately, on the other side of the cedar, that is a danger zone if you get collected inside. Fortunate break, unfortunate throw. Calvin 
I'm going eagle. Not wide enough. Yeah, it's just going to be true. Oh, no. That's and bogey alert. Yeah. That is going to be really tough, depending on where he came to rest. Anheuser forehand, it looks like. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. he's through to the other side. That is so Good. fortunate. Good break. That is so fortunate. I, I did not think that we would be able to see him when he got to his approach. What a good looking run from that. That's so smooth. Yeah, beautiful. Greg, that's what it's supposed to look like. Just kind of a little <laughs> yeah. anti smooth, a little bit higher. That's for a two shot lead. Oh, Ricky, just low. And a year ago, James couldn't tell Greg how it's supposed to look because he didn't have a world title. But now he can, they can have the conversation together. This to pull within one. Oh, man. Over the top. Big opportunities for both of those guys from C2. Yeah. Calvin, the only one on this card without a world title. I believe he will get one. That is a I good do par save. That went all the way to the back edge of the circle. No damage done. Pars around. Hole 15. This tee shot matches a lot of the things that we saw in 13 just a hole ago. Up the hill through a tight gap. Baseball field on the right with two mandatory posts keeping the players away from the field. Forehand is a common play here to kind of drift it off to the left and Heiser back to the right. If you go too far left, there are some bushes that can stop a shot. I think those might, that might have hit those trees on the left side. That's beautiful. That is bombed. It looked like it, it was just such a controlled shot as well. Yeah. And then it goes. It just goes and goes. Yeah. 420 feet up the hill. When Ricky used to throw far, it looked like he was throwing far. Now it's just... Yeah, he's kind of created like a half swing, half move, I've noticed. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's just really easy, it seems. Like James's drive is great. Breaks 70 feet past it. Yeah. Oh, just catching the top of the hill. That just crests... He's up there near Rick's drive, but still good drives. So Barsby is pretty far back. Yeah, he's in the 310 range. Really? Okay. I would think that that might be a little farther back. I, I know because that's where I was you, all three you rounds. You ranged it? <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, I know how exactly how far away that is. Because you're looking to just get right here. Nothing in the way. Simple hyzer toss with a forehand. Give yourself a tap in. This should be the easiest hole in the course. But it doesn't play quite that easy. It's the third easiest. <laughs> we were talking about how good he threw it the last time. And, uh, <laughs> yep. Repeat. There, yep, there you have it again. A little chip shot for Rick. Well done. Parsby, the only one with real work here. Yes. Beautiful putt. Stays in the hunt with that putt made there. This is an absolute must get at this situation in this late stages of the event. And it is looking like we are going to have a back, well, another star frame. The second one going back to hole 12. Oh, 
Ricky looking for that first big win of the season. Switching companies is not an easy task. And right now he's holding that one stroke lead. Could this be it? 16, the last of those easier holes. This one is a tunnel shot off the tee with a mandatory and OB going down the right side, but it's a pretty short par four. If these guys can get off the tee clean, expect them all to be in circle one. Greg, beautiful drive, working its way to the left side of the fairway, which is gonna open up a very open and very manageable forehand from probably 270 feet left to the pin. There's that, yeah, there's that little spoke. half stroke again from him and just perfectly accurate. He's just so strong. He's just, with that half throw, he's getting Easy 25, yeah, 25 to 30% more power than the guys on his card. And he's only playing with the top dogs every weekend. James, in a maybe somewhat potentially difficult spot to get up and down, but he should have an open look down the right side of the fairway. Yeah, these are all great. And even this hole is not that easy. It does have a wire that kind of goes right through the fairway that adds a little bit more of an obstacle, but that tee shot's tight. These approaches so important right now. You cannot afford, if you're Greg or Calvin, to lose a stroke to Ricky with just 17 and 18 remaining. As difficult as those two holes are, yes, you can gain a stroke, but you do not want to be put in a situation where you have to birdie both of those. You, I think you might already be in that situation. Right. It's, it's that, you know, with the way Rick's playing, I just don't see anything but a star frame coming from this hole, as good as these drives yep. are for these guys. And then 17 is a special birdie. 18... Yep. Depending on the wind, 18 yes. is is very gettable. I mean, you could certainly take a triple bogey also. <laughs> right. But but I would not count on Ricky missing 18 if I was behind him. So no star frame on 16. He has work left here. And James is battling for that fourth place position. There are players on the... Second and yeah, third right. card that are making pushes up the leaderboard. So that's an important comebacker that he makes right there to keep that bogey free on the back nine stretch alive. And Ricky up and in. And look at the stretch of holes he's got going on right now. Six of the last seven. It's winning time. All these guys leaving it all out here today. Oh, oh no. No, that is a heartbreaker. That's a tournament ender for Greg playing so well nine down to this round. He needed to get to 10. He needed to get to 11 and finishing off. He needed to get to 12 to have any shot, I think. Yeah, you got to feel that it's, that takes him out of contention. Seems like a two-horse race with two to go. Here is hole 17, par four, 912. Can Calvin do something special here? Put the pressure on Rick, potentially tie this thing up going into the 18th. I think that has got to be on his mind. 
I wonder how aggressively Ricky will attack here. You really don't want a bogey if you're Ricky. So far to this point, I think we're seeing less than 10% of the field make birdie here. Yeah, well, we're going into a headwind, and birdie just, just the doors of birdie close so quick when you get a headwind in this hole. Rick's going pretty aggressive, though, I, to answer my question. He is booming this. Uh, wow, that was a very <laughs> confident spot as that drive. Anything near that tree is huge, and in that headwind, Ricky skips That's annihilated. Yeah, he's in a fantastic spot. That is the last thing Calvin wanted to see, especially oh, with no. that drive. No. Oh, birdie is gone. And Ricky can win the tournament with, a, with an up and down here. Oh, wow. Very understable disc from Barsby. And this is going too much. He needs help. Yeah, he gets some help. And he gets two meter relief off the barbed wire fence on the right side. So they give him a little bit more room to throw and shape a shot. But just like Calvin, Birdie is out of the equation that far away. James has gone low and it is turning over. Is it going to catch edge? Not quite. Still a good drive. But that's a ways back. That's near 460, 470. Yeah, I think Ricky's the only one with a real shot. Calvin's, Calvin's going to go for wow. it anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh just let gosh. the man get full flight. That thing was blistered. This needs to get down. There is OB to the left. Yeah, this is tracking that way. Yeah, it does slow down in that's time. That's okay. Pretty easy forehand pitch around that tree to the basket. He'll most likely have no problem saving the par. Ricky's going to have under 200 in. Let's see what James has to say about this shot here. Oh, wow. Look at Whoa. that. Get stable. No, Ricky is way below oh, 200. Look at James. Yeah, yeah like 340. More, even more. That was 110% of the fairway. <laughs> fairway gave him a little bit. The sides of the fairway gave him more. This shot right here, Sheriff Rick looking to shut the whole rodeo down. Oh, oh. the rodeo continues. Potentially. I think he's got, I think he's in the 400 neighborhood to the pin from there. Really? It's a 912 foot hole. Calvin desperately needs to get up and down and he has done so. Very important throw there for Calvin. Looks like we're going to have a one stroke ball game. I mean, Ricky is 85 feet. I can't imagine him getting crazy aggressive here for no reason. Because it does run away behind yeah. it. Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, just lays it up. No, no bid. Can't blame him for that one. And it controls his own destiny like we talked about. I mean, 18, get that drive in bounds. Get up near that elevated basket. Oh, man. James unable to capitalize on the brilliant second throw. That was incredible. Only three birdies in the final round in that wind. Kevin Jones, Albert Tom, and Christopher Farnsworth. Oh, Farnham. I was going to say, I haven't met, met Farnsworth. I, I, I know Chris Farnham, too. I don't know what I just said. I was, I was on to the next hole in my head. but I was, I like, was like, who is this guy? Farnsworth can really whip it out there. I'm sorry, Chris. I messed up. <laughs> oh, my God. It's my first mistake in commentary, so yeah. give okay. me a break. Well, here we are. How far? How big does he go? Got to be in bounds. It's going to be. This is a nice looking shot. Does it you don't want to be snuggle up too... to the fence or not? Oh, that's great. Uh, up against the fence and things get dicey, but he's given himself just enough relief to be able to throw a comfortable forehand if he wants. And uh, this is a rocket. Oh is this going to get back? Yeah. 
I don't oh, know. I don't know. I don't know. My oh my gosh, that's the world record for longest drive. <laughs> yes, that is like he, that's like 175 feet to the basket, and that's huge because he's going to be able to watch what Ricky does, and in, with no one in real range. I mean, I guess Barsby, if he birdies it. Okay, this is a great looking drive from Greg. That was crazy. He cleared from it Calvin. by an inch. I can't imagine Calvin meant to go that no. wide. But I do know that he's thinking in his head, I want to watch Ricky throw his approach. Sure. So he wanted to outdrive him there, and he did so. You think, or do you think he's just thinking, like, put it in bounds at all costs? <laughs> That's what I would be thinking. Yeah, but he certainly didn't throw one like that. I mean, he, he, he must have yanked it a bit, but I, yeah, counting on the I, road skip. Either way, now it's 550 down the fairway. Yep. So Greg, can he play his second straight bogey free round? Either way, what an incredible event for this man here. At just awesome disc golf all week. Greg, wow. He got to the number that he said would win the event. You can't be mad about that. Turning, is it turning enough? Not quite. Oh, is it stopping? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's helpful because he's still in that battle for fourth. How close is Ricky going to be able to put this? Could ice it right here. Wow. Well, oh. How did he, oh. how did he miss the oh, fence? Okay. So circle one. Yep. That's 25. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's Ricky has had no issues with putting today. Was he one inch from that fence? It sure looked like yeah. it. Now, this has got to be in. I mean, this is Calvin. If you want to win this tournament, you cannot expect Ricky to miss that. He's got to try to give this a bid. Oh, on line perfectly, but just couldn't quite get it to the pin. Wonderful effort from Calvin, and it's just going to require Ricky missing a short putt. I mean, he, I... I don't think you run that. I mean, that's still a putt for the win, and it is Ricky, but high rise, he's still 20, outside 20 feet. Yeah. James still gets the 21 under par, missing four or five circle two putts today. I mean, and yesterday. Surprising. This would be a nice little present for Barsby, yeah. but that's fine. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah! Undefeated. It's... It's insane. <laughs> insane. Six-time Texas State champion Ricky Wysocki. He just seems unbeatable in the state of Texas sometimes. All the time. I mean, I guess Waco is in Texas, but all the other tournaments he's ever played, he's won here in Texas. I mean, that you see the emotion. He wanted that so bad. He like, we haven't so seen a reaction like that from him making a winning putt in a long time. That meant that meant a lot. 29 under par. That is, that is just ludicrous at the thorn. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 Texas State champion, Ricky Wysocki. He's like, just give it to me already. <laughs> Rick, you had to battle back these last two rounds. You ultimately hunted down Kelvin Heiberg. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, the last couple holes, it just turns into a chess match. Um, you know, luckily I had a one-stroke lead, and I was able to play a little more cautious on, on 18 on the upshot. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I, I grinded through the bad breaks, and, you know, I just fought hard mentally. That's what I do best. I feel like I'm a mental warrior. I can fight through bad breaks, and uh, it's an amazing feeling to, to be back and get my sixth Texas State title. It's amazing. Uh, it's hard fields nowadays, and um, I'm just proud of myself for fighting through the, the adversity throughout the whole week. 
Greg Barsby said at the early, earlier in the week that if anyone finds 25 under or better at the end of the weekend, we should protect them at all costs. You're 28 under, how does that feel? <laughs> it feels great. I mean, I knew I was gonna have to shoot a hot one today and yesterday to have a chance to win. Um, but yeah, I think the course was, was susceptible to scoring because the wind was down. Uh, I think uh, if the wind was up, definitely you wouldn't see as low as low scores. But um, but yeah, I've, uh, Texas States, I'm feeling in my in in the groove, and uh, yeah, it's just it's a great feeling to have all these. Uh, I feel like I'm at home here. All the fans, I feel like uh, support me just because uh, I feel like I play so well with their energy around here. Well, it's the third event of the season, but your first win. You're now looking to probably take a couple weeks off. How are you going to prep for the major? Yeah, uh, take a couple of weeks off, kind of uh, still work on some things. It's not, uh, the season's not even close to over. Uh, I'm just getting started. And uh, I just got to give a big shout out to Dynamic Disc for uh, giving me this opportunity and giving me the new motivation to play and uh, with great plastic and, uh, and great disc. So uh, I'm excited for the future and excited for the major. Off week to rest the mind and come back uh, after a couple ice baths. Ricky Waisaki, your champion yet again here at Texas States. Wrap your legs back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's cool watching him make all those winning putts out here in Texas. True champion down here in the Lone Star State. Look at that back nine. Oh my gosh, just from the card. Everybody, but Everyone. yeah, especially Rick, just shutting it down with a 10 under final round to reach 29. It's, it's an incredible number through three rounds here because there are just so many chances to bogey. There was... There was low wind, but there was still wind. Mm -hmm. Incredible play. Congratulations to Ricky. What a fight from Calvin and Greg. This was a fun one. And the big guy played really good. Congrats on your sixth place finish. Yeah. Jeremy, that's good playing out For there, man. For sure. Jeremy Colling, sixth place. Gotta love it. Howdy, partners. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to take a couple of weeks off, and we will see you at the Champions Cup in Georgia. It's going to be a, our first non-Worlds or USDGC major in a couple of years. Should be exciting. Looking forward to it. Thanks again.